Hi everybody, welcome back to Bobby's Bucks and today I wanted to share the electric bike that I purchased specifically for deer hunting. Stick with us, we're going to talk all about it. This e-bike will get you up hills with the throttle, you don't have to pedal. Now it will self propel you as soon as you start pedaling, but you don't have to pedal. It will actually just take, take off for you. So come to find out, I spent the last couple years talking to people that have electric bikes and a lot of those bikes will not get you up a hill on their own, on their own battery. Now we purchased this bike that has a 1000 watt battery. We're going to tell you all about it. Stick with us. Here we go. That wheel just went airborne for a second off that hill. Oh my lord. That's awesome. Wow. So this year I finally invested into an electric bike. So I'm really excited. We had this thing put together really quickly last night. We had to actually make a couple adjustments um, with the mud flaps and the handlebars. We got everything the way we want it. And, but I purchased this for one reason and that's to scout and to hunt deer. So this paint job, as beautiful as it is, I'm not going to be able to use white in the woods. Uh, so I'm going to have to lock this up and make sure that other hunters are, are not getting tempted by uh, this bike. So I want it to be camouflage for several reasons. So we're going to paint it. We're going to paint the tires flat black. That way, a little bit of the, the paint, if it gets on a tire, it'll blend in. And then we're going to paint the frame camouflage. So here we go. Naturally, when you're strolling, just slow through like the backyard, you're going about five miles an hour. So that's what it holds you at. Like what, <clears throat> how does it feel? I mean, does it feel strong? You just start, you take literally like one, two strokes, like if you're like one, two pedals, and it immediately just Terrific. It just starts taking you immediately. So here. Okay, cool. So we brought the bike out in the sun so you could just get a better look at what we, we did. Now this is after going through the woods, um, same day we painted it. We only gave it a couple hours of drive. This Rust-Oleum paint's pretty good. It looks pretty sharp. It's ready for the woods and Brandon said it rode really well, absorbed the shocks really well. It was really fast, good, good pickup. This thing goes up to 30 miles per hour so it's something you may want to consider getting a helmet for. But uh, we, we picked this because it's a thousand watt battery and uh, that's just a tough battery that can get you up those hills without having to pedal. So I wanted to be able to haul gear on my bike and uh, I never recommend having a lot of gear or weight on your backpack and riding on a bike that's bad for you. You can actually damage your pelvic floor. So this will actually support up to 60 pounds so you can put all your pack and your gear on the back of your bike. These fat tires will hold um, a lot of extra weight, plus go over soft sand, snow even. This is rated. You can't run this through underwater or anything. It's not like they don't recommend going through puddles, but it's water resistant where it'll hold up to rain and some snow and, and uh, 
So it's got these nice, it comes with the, the tire mud flaps and it also comes with lights, a speedometer. You don't have to pedal for the speedometer to work on some of the lesser bikes. You have to actually pedal for the speedometer to engage. This just works all the time. It's a 21 speed bike, so it actually works as a regular bike if you want to just ride it, if the battery would ever to uh, fail on you. But it goes up to 60 miles before the next necessary charge. They recommend when you come back from your ride to charge it though, because that's good for the battery, so it'll last long. But um, this, this, is our, this is our bike. This is what we chose. We'll link it down below. Uh, I think this is going to work out really well and I'll keep you guys updated. So any questions or comments that you have, please leave them down below and I'll get back to everybody. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video. There's a little buck over there, a little spike, he's making his way through the woods. And that spike is about to walk right into that other hunter. I don't know if that hunter's out here just to harvest and fill the freezer. Because if he is, that spike's probably going to get an arrow because I know a lot of people try to manage their property and shoot big bucks, but a spike to a lot of people is prime venison. They're a little bit bigger than the does. And they're really tender, tender meat. I know a lot of hunters that love shooting spikes. It's like shooting a super big tasty doe. And plus you get a little towel hook. We'll see if we hear a bow go off. So I have to get I have to get my trigger release on because today's November 9th and deer are running around like crazy all day. All I did was went home, changed my clothes, got out of those winter clothes, and got right back in the stand. It's one o'clock. I just seen a doe run right by me on my way to my stand. So our stand location, we gotta find out where we're gonna, we gotta pick a tree out and get up in the tree.